Almost a year ago, I started a little code repo called uh, the Dev Tip Starter Kit. And the idea was for it to be a, a lightweight uh, starting place for small web projects. In fact, I've been using it in most of the coding tutorials here on DevTips channel. Well, it's been a year and I've learned quite a few things. So I went back into the starter kit and did a massive overhaul of the, the structure and the presentation. So today I want to talk to you about DevTips Starter Kit version 2 and I'll show you what's new in the kit. The first new thing is that there's actually a nice little landing page built for it now. And that can be found at devtipstarterkit.com. From here you can download the code directly or jump to GitHub to fork it and make it your own. The most important thing about the kit has always been its SAS architecture. This is why I made the kit in the first place, to share with you guys how I organize my projects. So here we are in the kit, let's jump into the assets and then CSS. You can see that I've rewritten and reorganized the SAS to make it cleaner and simpler to understand. Everything has been broken down to smaller pieces and they're much more expressive so they're easier to find and, and change to how you want them to be. I've removed my own opinions about things like colors and dimensions. I updated third party code like normalize and bourbon and jQuery and I even added Mr. and Mrs. Colors which adds a, a lot of interesting and, and simple color variables for you to use. There's a new font and there are in each section a few example pages. See these, these ones that have the word example in front of them? These are not meant to be included in every project. You just go in and delete them as you like. But they're a way to show you how I organize these modules and how that I include them into the main SAS right here. All right, that's it. I just wanted to show that to you. I hope that this new starter kit version is useful to you, and I look forward to be able to use that in future Dev Tips tutorials here on the channel. That's it for this morning's video. Thanks for watching, and of course, keep on hacking.